Got it? Yeah. Couple things that happen at the tournament. So first, one of our guys, the guy pulled the guard on him. Pull, uh, pull the guard on him. Good. So, see what? Yeah. Good. And so he pulled the guard on me, right? So my hands are here. Is that easy for him to close the guard or not? Who can ask? Yes. Good. Go and close. It. Good. All right. So as soon as the guy pulled the guard on you, good. You were there, said that. You did have hands on his chest and hands on his knee. Okay. Whatever was your hands here. Yes. That's true. Now he pulled. Good. That's it. If you stay here, he's gonna close guard. Because your hands in the bad position, so. And then, coach is right there on the outside. Move your hands from his chest to the leg, but he still don't do it. Because uh, I know, too much nerves, right? But as of now, you have to move your hands here and kind of back it up. Okay, C continue holding me. Good, and put your feet. The more contact he has, the better his guard will be, right? He doesn't want me to move it away. Like now I can maneuver his legs and kind of start passing the guard. He doesn't want that. He wants all the time, so he pulls me. Yeah, and extend the legs. Put a little some pressure. Good, he does that. Look, I need to, I need to make my posture here and start, right? And start fighting, I know, it's a fight. So, that's it. Then, okay, if he does close the guard, and that happens to another guy, again, you shouldn't do this. Women. The guy is attack, guy on the street attack you and somehow they get inside your guard and they want to pull your head. What, he, what they are giving to you here? Armbar. Armbar. Right there. Okay, break his arm. Okay, if you're trying to choke him from inside your guard, what are you giving him? Armbar. Okay? So that being said, once you're inside the guy's guard, don't go there, please. All right? Back it up. Bosh, bosh, and stay right here. I would say not even cross his belt. Okay, but all right. There are some other ways that he could do it, especially when you're controlling his arm. But let's say one of, one of our students, he did this, and it was, it, was, it was okay. He picked him up. Good. Now what you have to do, all right, push down, open and move, and then let's say side open. All right, he picked him up. Okay. Yes. But he wasn't pushed, so that's okay. The guy went down. When he went down, is that good position for you? I'm gonna tap right here. And I was saying, he, no, go back, go, go back to your knees. He did once. But then he do it again. He picked it up again, which is okay. But what I'm telling you is, doesn't matter if you do. If you do the right thing and the guy continues defending, you continue doing it, he's just defending. Doesn't mean it doesn't work anymore, you know. Maybe he was, he's gonna, at the end, uh, towards the end, he's gonna stop defending because he got tired or something. Especially as a white belt, like, you don't know much, you know. So if you don't know much, I'm not asking you to do too many other things, right? Good, so here we go. So never expose your arms here, okay? Always stay here, that's not a good position. So if you find yourself here, you better go back to your knee, I know it's hard to stand up, but you stood up wrong. The only season of mistake. Okay, go back. And then eventually you end up tapping. Now, here, half guard, that happened. Come here on top. Half guard. You pull to a half guard, but, but you decide to have your knee right here. Okay? Make sure the knee is right there. Don't let the guy collapse your knee right here. Okay, because now you can't defend the knee. Okay? And what happened is, good, yeah, yeah, good, good, that's it. All right, that's what happened. So, again, you don't want that to happen. You want your knee right here. Either you do a half card here, which I would recommend to have to uh, white belts, okay? If you start opening too much, then you gotta do the right thing. Keep the knee right here. Move your foot and push him away, control. But it's not getting too much. Too much if you're wide belt. You don't know much of this yet. Okay, but don't let the guy collapse here. Good look. He came out. Right? But and then he did good. Afterwards he replaced. But he replaced on the same way. And 
And then what he did, he made the points all over again. By the way, look at how many points go here. Look, this is how many points you can tell me here? It's three for the pass and four for the mount seven. The guy did twice, come in. 14, you lost the match right there. All right, so many points to go after. Okay, just for like simple mistakes, right? So, if you're not ready to go back to your guard and maybe attack, not even go because he's gonna pass it again and make more points. You gotta think about this, it's too much things to think. That's why I say I recommend go to a tournament because you, you know, that's stress. But anyways, one thing was super good here. He got from half he got to Tokimura. Okay? Guys, there are a couple ways to make the guys happy here. Okay? Because that's not the perfect scenario. You can switch your legs here, make that lock down and extend the guy a little bit and then go for it. That's one. Okay? So I was in my figure four. I switch it. Okay? I made my lock down. I knock his, his knee a little bit and then I did. But he didn't do it. That's okay. He was almost making him tap and then got to this moment here the guy extend the arm. He extend the arm, okay, it's not the same motion anymore. It's actually ar around the world, look. Okay, it's around. One is going to the head, when it's bent, when it's bent, it's right there. When he extend, it's a different motion because you gotta understand the anatomy. Now I'm actually hyper extending his elbow. Okay, it goes like that. The guy taps, okay, so you have, I just said actually three options here. One, the regular one, two, when you use the knee, and three, when you have back center. Another, ha actually what happened, and he didn't listen to me, it was great. So, uh, hide your arm. The guy hides the arm right there, good. What you can do here too, you push the arm against the guy, and, and knock the guy, come, come, come on. Yeah, well, knock, no, no, uh, come, come to me, to me. Like passing, good. All right, keep on passing, keep on passing. Good, good, like that. And then you knock the guy that way. Right here, the, the legs were trapped a little bit, okay? Right here, what happened? Don't let go this grip in here, okay? Because that's what's gonna keep you coming forward. If he turns to try to come, you can push him still because you have the grip. But if you let go, however, now he's like, oh, whoever, whoever's fast. So in the heat of the fight, you see that you got a chance. You were there for too long already on the bottom. Now you got a chance to come on top, and then you rush, you lose it. Okay, you can't, you can't rush. Just do what you gotta do. Of course, look, these are giving him a lot of points because he just, he never did that position. He's a white belt. Never did that position. And he did just by listening to me. Because I told him, push his, his arm against his body and roll him. Roll him over. And he did, you know, it was good. Then I wasn't expecting him to continue the, you know, the grip. So now, it's, you know, of course. It's, again, it's a beginner, today is a beginner class and you didn't see this technique yet, but if you ever get into this position and you have the grip, the Kimura grip here, okay, the Kimura, and then you roll in this position and you have that, never let go, because that's our, your safe spot is, okay? Then if you don't let go, you can come on top and start maybe working or making him tap, okay? Or at least maintain a position on top, you got it? Okay, so now, that's uh, uh, what we're gonna work. We're gonna work on how to make the guy tap from that Kimura front half, okay? Switching the, the, the leg, going to the lockdown, and doing the regular one, so here we go. Just pay attention on my legs here. He's in the half guard, he's coming closer to my head, I didn't allow him to do it, and then I put one arm over. Two blocking, one arm over, I grab, that's it. Now what I need to do here, I need to switch the leg over the, his leg, okay, switch. I still do my figure four. That's why people get mistaken. See the four here? That was the four there. I switch my figure four. Then this foot goes under his, his leg. I will knock him a little bit. Doesn't need to be much. Okay? Now you force this way to make him tap. Because you, you broke his posture off this lockdown situation. Okay? One more time. Here, the first, the beginning is you have a half. He's coming, you block. Go over. Grab the wrist. Your wrist, you got everything now. Maybe you cannot make it. He's too heavy, you don't have leverage to force. Good, that's why you're working on, the, on it. So switch your legs, make your four. You got your four, great. Then put your foot underneath his foot. You're gonna hyperextend and then go for that. Okay? It's not a beginner technique, but I want you guys to try this out. 
Okay. Professor, how come you can't lock That's down his leg from the outside? Huh? How come you can't lock down his leg from the other side? You know, you could, but I think this is just a little better. better. Just a little better. You could too. Okay. But good, good question. Yes. We're doing the around the world one too. And then if the guy extends, try that around the world too. Okay. Just one trying here, the other one is over, pass over your head. All right. Good guys. One, two, three. Watch it. Three. Good.